good morning and uh, well welcome it's a day after uh, bank holiday monday and back on the allotment and uh, hello again i uh, had a day off from filming i didn't have a day off from allotment i've done all sorts of things i've built gates and cleared areas and uh, well i'm turning my attention there to the water butts on my allotment i have uh, i'm lucky enough to have three one i inherited with water in it and unfortunately it didn't have a lid on so it's gone green and moldy now several things you can do obviously it needs a lid so i've popped a lid on it in the hope that that will clear the water it might not however we need somehow sometimes to make sure the water runs clear and uh, well believe it or not i was pottering along through the allotment yesterday and looked down and found an old pair of tights well one leg of a tight there you go that's not the leg it's an old drain pipe but look the tights are there and uh, well one of the things you can do to help clear the rainwater is in your drain pipe pop the tights and fill it there you go with loose pieces of charcoal and of course don't make it too full because otherwise the water won't be able to come from your drain pipe and as it passes through it clears the water you can also if you want to place larger lumps of charcoal in the bottom of your water butt Obviously, put them in tights again, something, put them right at the bottom. The larger they are, the better. Weight them down with something, and uh, it will help keep the water pure and clear for you to use in your garden. Also, it adds nutrients from the charcoal. And uh, we have here, let me just get my little shovel that we used yesterday, of course, for the horse manure. And charcoal, if you've been burning fires, either wood fires outside in the garden or inside your house, you can use this on your composting. Not very much, by the way. It's full of potassium. It really helps. Don't use a lot because some plants don't like it and let it, again, compost down. You can, in places, put it directly onto the soil, but only do that in winter time. Add it to your soil and turn it into the soil over winter as the beds are getting ready for the next springs awakening well it's a glorious day once again here in yorkshire it's gonna be a lovely sunny day and hopefully for the next few days i think you can hear the birds singing in the background they're keeping me entertained and uh, well i've not seen my bees yet today but they'll be around somewhere uh, they're fantastic little creatures they do sound a little bit like a lancaster bomber if i can get uh, one for you on video i will have a wonderful day. It's lovely. Thank you for your messages. Uh, some people asked if I was ill because I hadn't posted yesterday. Uh, I don't want to post them every day because hopefully you don't get too bored with me. But again, don't forget, if you don't want to watch me on Facebook, I have my own YouTube channel. Please come and subscribe. It's just Jeremy Stroyer. And look for that on YouTube. Subscribe. We're up to 23 users. Hooray! So please come and join the fun. Sometimes there'll be things on there that aren't on here on Facebook and vice versa. I hope all my friends are well. Hope everybody that's watching is well. And uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy your charcoal. And uh, oh yes, um, I have put the manure in the compost heap. I'll see you all later. Wonderful daytime. Time for a cup of tea. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Ciao.